Simpsons in Manchester has been processing meat for British dinner tables for more than a hundred years. So what have we got here? OK, so you can see cans of hamburgers ready to be labelled over here. Andrew Simpson is currently running the family firm. But why can't we have labels that tell us where the ingredients of our meat product have come from? We don't have any problem with labelling them from the EU. It's a free market, after all, and all the meat that we're using here today is from the EU. But if we have to focus more closely, then that's a real problem. It's quite difficult for a single source to supply us. We could use 10 tonnes of beef in a day. We will get it probably from a single cutting house, but that cutting house might have taken it from six or eight different countries. That's a really big ask to tell us exactly in, in all of these cans which one of those has got beef from England and which one of those has got beef from Ireland. Not only does Andrew think it would be impractical to specify the exact country of origin for ingredients like meat, he thinks it would push up prices too. Are you saying it's that ability to source from a number of places that helps keep the price of the product down? Oh, undoubtedly so, yes. The more we're restricted in how we buy, the more expensive the meat tends to be, simply because you can't shop around. So in simple terms, if you were more restricted about what you had to put on the packaging, what impact that would have on the price of processed meats? Well, it would put it up. Simple as that. Simple as that. For Andrew, then, more labelling would be bad, not just for the manufacturer, but the consumer too. Processed food, like so many of our manufactured goods, often has ingredients from all around the world. It's one of the things that helps to keep the price down. Better labelling might enable shoppers who care to make sure they buy British, but it will have far-reaching consequences all along the food chain.